Hey, it's Glenn, and let me walk you through this quickly. I'm glad that you made it. The least you need to know is write down the URL glencash.com so you can get back here. And this is your super affiliate tracking link. Please note that the last letter of the tracking link doesn't really matter. Um, and you'll see that it changes depending upon where you're looking. The reason that it's there is in email, that link would not automatically become a hyperlink unless there was a letter at the end. And um, it changes for a variety of reasons and a variety of different places. Don't worry about it. Also, don't worry if you get an email from the tracking center with a different tracking link in it from the affiliate tracking center, um, which will always route you back here. The reason that will have a different tracking link in it is that you didn't refer yourself, somebody else referred you. Um, or if nobody referred you, then it's just tracked as coming directly from my company. So that's one way that we protect you as an affiliate. We want to make sure that just because prospects you sign up might become an affiliate, we want to make sure that you get to keep your commission anyway. So that's why that will happen. And all you really need to know is get this URL and get it out there. Okay, here is a few more things about the way the system works that will be helpful to you and, and avoid some confusion for all of us going forward. Um, first of all, some people like to send some people like to bypass the opt-in system and send people directly to our sales pages. You're welcome to do that if you want to. I'd recommend that you do it in addition to sending people to your super affiliate link because when you bypass that form, you're bypassing the whole super system. And that means that it's just a plain old affiliate link and either you get them now um, before they drop their cookies or you lose them. And, and there's of course no automated follow-up for years. And we really do have hundreds, uh, well, at, at this time, I've got 128 follow-up messages with genuinely valuable, you know, full interviews and videos and the things that bond people to us over time. And they really do make the sale um, for people who don't trust us initially. They really work very well. There's a reason I've been recording so many audios over the and, and videos over the years and, and lately doing cheat sheets and webinars. Um, so you're welcome to use these. Just know that when you do that, um, I suggest you do it in addition to the opt-in and not, not in, as a replacement for it. Um, and the last thing I want you to know, just so you're absolutely certain you understand how this works, is when you use your URL and somebody lands on that page, what happens is the system looks at your unique tracking ID and then it goes and it retrieves all of the other IDs that you entered. Um, so the two one shopping cart IDs that you entered, and I'll show you a place where you can enter ClickBank and Pay.com. It, um, it retrieves them and it inserts them in any product link on the page. And, it, and in this, this is the opt-in page. This is the default opt-in page, so I don't have a lot of product links. But at the bottom, you know, there's a link to our low-end continuity club and there's a link for... Uh, a beginner's product, and then there's a link to the pay-per-click service, and uh, this is a standard footer, and in that footer you will find that your affiliate IDs have been inserted. You will also find that if I'm passing people off to another, just another page within our system, and it's a dynamic page, that I'm passing your tracking ID, and this is an example of a place where the last letter of the ID will change, but it will be um, your tracking ID. And if you check at the very bottom left where I'm hovering my mouse over the blog right now, you'll see that's a dynamic page and it goes through a couple of redirects so that your cookies get reinserted every time somebody clicks. And that's the whole idea is that we've got this very, very rich content delivery system. It's very sticky. People click around it all the time. And every opportunity we have to have them uh, get cookied again for you, um, we want them to do that and we store your you know we store we call this your super affiliate id we store that in our autoresponder system so that no matter where we send people we can always pass that information and that's how that's how this all works um two last things you need to know the first thing is you can change your regular ids at any time i think we went through this briefly but just be sure you don't break it just be just be sure that it's the right ID when you do that, because if it's the wrong ID, then all your links will cease functioning. So you probably shouldn't have to change this, but if you do, then then go ahead. Um, when you give me your ClickBank or your Pay.com ID, if there is a product that we own and we sell on ClickBank, then 
we will put links to that through your ClickBank ID in the system. Um, same thing with pay.com if we should do that. I haven't done much with them yet, but we, we plan to. And um, the one thing you can't do is, is buy your buy products or services through your own link. And the place we run into this the most is, um, we find most people are honest about it, but, but where we run into it the most, where people misunderstand is maybe they work for a company and they want to sign up their boss, but they want to get the affiliate credit. And, you know, sometimes these can be very large projects, um, but we unfortunately had to draw a line because what was happening was people would refer someone in a company and then that person would get the idea and they would cheat the person who referred them out of the commission and it just wasn't fair to them. So if you're a W-2 employee for a company, um, then that company counts as one entity and you just can't do that. We have someone who goes through once a month to make sure and police that, um, and when I say police, I know people don't, mostly don't do this on purpose. Of course, there are some people who do, but but once a month we have someone that goes through and um, cleans that up and if she sees that, and she will see, um, that people have wound up with the affiliate link on their own, um, on their own item, then, then she erases that and, and credit it, credits it back to the affiliate underneath them. Um, so I hope you like that. Um, that. That'll protect you. And what we have planned in the future is a set of training materials. Um, one thing you might want to do right away is for some of the high-end services, you might want to go off and buy a domain and reroute it through there. I'll make a video to show people how to do that who don't know how to do that, but we find that some of our absolute best referrals come from word of mouth. Um, and so, for example, even though, here, let me show you the URL, even though the URL to our pay-per-click management service is rocketclicks.com forward slash management, I purchased the URL for myself. And by the way, none of these, if we, if we own the URL, then we make sure that it doesn't overwrite any affiliate cookies because we're protecting your commissions. I purchased a URL called Pay-Per-Click Muscle because I found I was often talking to people at an event or um, even just out to lunch or dinner with someone. I said, well, hey, go over to Pay-Per-Click Muscle and um, have a look at what we're offering. And those are some of the most highly converting, most likely to become high-end customer people that we find. So I would strongly recommend that you go off and um, get a couple of domain names and um, link them to each of the major services that, um, that you might want to promote because you'll find that as you start to think about this that it just comes naturally to say, oh, you know, go to rocketclicksseo.com or go to paperclickmuscle.com and have a look. And that's something that almost no marketer ever does. They're, they always, um, sometimes it kills me. I'll, I'll see a television commercial and I'm thinking, you know, dude, you spent 50 grand on a, tele, on a television commercial and you couldn't spend 10 bucks on a URL to get them to the right place. And instead you're gonna make them try to remember this long URL. And let me tell you from experience, people don't remember, they just don't. They'll remember your domain and that's it. So if you wanna take advantage of some of the most powerful aspects then get some word of mouth URLs, um, not only for this, but for your for your super affiliate links. And, um, you know, it might be free AdWords MP3s or um, free AdWords Supercharge, wh whatever you want to call it. And you have to play around a little, little bit to get one, but those are very helpful. And um, that's it. That's what we got so far. I know that people want rebrandable reports and they want lots of banners and um, all types of other tools and we're working on it and I'm sorry that we don't have all those things for you just yet but I hope you'll agree that the value of having you know two and a half years worth of solid autoresponders and if if you're not on my autoresponder list and you're, you don't have um, you know you don't have access to some of the material we're providing I, I really suggest that you do that um, because you'll get to know and you'll get excited about what we're teaching and, and how we're helping people and um, that'll make you a much better salesperson for for the services and the educational products and uh, and the coaching and all that kind of good stuff and we'll all make money and people will do better um, that you're referring referring to us and everybody wins so um, thanks for your attention and let's make it happen thanks